He wins Grand Jewels. I believe he won the most Grand Jewels out of any player in the Cup Final yesterday. So he wins Grand Jewels. The evidence is there now. He's actually starting to win more Grand Jewels the more games he's playing. And he's a techie player. You know, he, and he finds our players, man. He finds our players in space. And plus, we don't lose when he plays. <laughs> the three games that Liverpool have lost this season, Endo didn't play any of them. I mean, it just tells you everything right there. Endo didn't start or play any of the games, the three games that we've lost this season. His win rate is mint. His, his win rate is mad. I think he's starting to get his flowers now. People are starting to respect him. Starting to give him the credit that he absolutely deserves. You know, too many people were just... Oh, it's a tar- who's this Wataro end dude? They didn't give him... A- this is what I hate about football fans in today's society. This generation of football fans now. They don't give players a chance if they've never heard of him. You know, with Taro Endo, no one ever heard of him. Like, everyone's thinking, who's this 30-year-old Japanese geezer from Stuttgart? What, what are we doing here? Like, literally, what are we doing here? Why have we gone from Lavia and Casado to this Endo geezer? Oh, it stinks of FSG cheapness and all that. Even though Jurgen Klopp has multiple times told the world that Endo was his transfer. He wanted Endo said it multiple times I wanted Endo the club did not want him I had to persuade the club to sign him and Klopp was right Klopp in his press conference when we bought with Taro Endo said word for word I tried to buy him three years ago but the club said no because of the profile of the player the age and where he came from the profile of the player the club thought he weren't the right choice to sign Part of me wishes we signed him three years ago when Klopp tried to buy him. Because if we signed him three years ago, I reckon Fabinho would still be at the football club now. Someone like Vitaro Endo comes up, yeah, he's not in your profile of player you want to go and get because of age and everything. But if your manager, who's one of the most elite managers of world football, says, no, if we get him, trust me, he's worth every penny. They should have listened to Klopp three years ago. So this is where I go. See, I just said, for me, we're a well-run football club, but they've made mistakes because they should have listened to Jurgen Klopp three years ago and got Endo in. And then you got that lovely mixture. You got that lovely mixture of Endo and Fabinho. And that's a mistake by the owners, not trusting their manager at that time to get that player in. Hold up. 